I just can't stop looking at myself with this skin tint on and you guys can't believe that I just got a skin tint that's just given me this natural look. I do not have anything on my face. I just can't stop staring at myself after I put this product on. Really, so welcome back to my channel. I really hope that all of you guys have been amazing this entire time. It's been a really long time that I've done like a foundation or a skin tint review video. And today I'm really, really like excited for this one. If you guys guessed this correctly, then I'm going to be reviewing the Lisa Aldridge Seamless Enhancing Skin Tint, which is a recent skin tint launch. And just look at the packaging. I bought this in the shade T9 and it says that we're supposed to shake well before use. That's one thing. But just look at it, how small the packaging is. It's literally the size of my palm. I don't know. The only thing I can think of is like why using the skin tint, the packaging is so white that I just don't want to stain it. I am trying Lisa Aldridge makeup for the first time. I've never used anything from this makeup brand at all so yes this is the first time i'm trying anything from lisa aldridge beauty and reviewing their seamless enhancing skin tint so let's just talk about what the skin tint offers before we get into the review and the first impressions of the skin tint the skin tint promises to even out your skin tone and balance out the redness and also just lift any shadows from your skin just boost your luminosity of your skin the description of this product just gives me like that best skin day vibe i don't know about you but this product is giving me like that best skin day vibe let's just watch this baby right away so like i mentioned i bought this in the shade t9 and i'm just gonna swatch it on my hand first okay now this shade according to their website ideally t10 is supposed to be really dark for my skin but i really i i don't know if this shade is the one that is correct for me because it's so light for my skin but let's just put it on i'm just gonna cross my fingers and swatch this on my face and see if it doesn't wash me out at all i mean i don't know what do you guys think that do you think that this shade is really light for my skin but um i just wanted to like see because this is t9 and this is t10 so i really don't know if i should have gone ahead with t10 but nonetheless i'm gonna swatch this on my face before i swatch this on my face i just wanna show you guys the texture of this skin tint it's can you even believe it's a skin tint that has so much coverage and it's supposed to be for a warm olive skin tone so i think it's really balancing because it doesn't seem warm at all usually um like the undertone of this skin tint seems like it's going to balance out like all the warmth of my skin because i am somebody who has a warm undertone to my skin so let's see if this also balances the redness so um I'm just gonna take like one drop again of the skin tint. So I've taken one drop of the skin tint and I'm gonna dot it on one side of my face. Now since this now since this is a skin tint, I just want to like blend this out with my fingers itself. And then I will blend it out with a beauty blender if required. So it has a really it has a very unique fragrance to it. Now since they've claimed that it also balances redness, I'm gonna just put it on my other cheek as well to see if it covers my pimples. Because if it does, then I'm definitely down for it to be like my everyday skin tint because it has such good coverage. You guys see that it just covered up everything on my cheek. It just covered up this acne that I have on my cheek. So the reason why I am a bit skeptical of this skin tint is because I have uneven skin on my face and you guys have been watching me like since the past two years and know that I have a little slightly tanned forehead and also like my cheeks are a little bit brighter compared to the rest of my face which makes it really difficult for me to select a foundation for my skin because if I select a foundation based on my forehead I look really really tanned and it doesn't it looks weird like it feels as if I've just rubbed some you know it feels like as if I have you know like some brown tint on my face and then when I select something which is like the shade of my cheeks or really like next to my cheek what happens is that I then 
feel that my face just especially my forehead gets washed out i think if i would have selected t10 would have been a really ideal choice but i don't mind trying it as well but it seems really dark for my skin like looking at the image now that i've blended it completely all over my face with just my fingers skin tint has like completely blurred out everything on my face even the redness that this pimple has and it's evened out my skin so well I think this is I think this skin tint is just going to be like my everyday skin tint and I will definitely repurchase this once I am finished using it I think and I'm going to be using it every day and get this guys that the crease proof formula works really great under my eyes as well I have applied a little bit more under my eyes because I've got uh like you know like a purplish tone under my eye but it is it isn't even showing that as well i'm looking at myself in the mirror and i'm looking at myself in the camera as well it's just not showing at all it does its job by balancing your undertone and any sort of imbalance in your color or imperfections is just going to balance it out which makes it like a really perfect skin tint like and it's too good to be true we have never tried a skin tint that that promises to just balance out the redness or that purplish tint that you get on your face when you have some sort of breakout or something or even your under eye i've never heard of a skin tint that would do that i don't even need to apply like a concealer under my eye with this skin tint it's just evened out my skin so well that i feel that if i add anything on my face beyond this it's just going to look very unnatural and i think that is what we all want when we say that we love a skin tint just to give us like a really nice um natural looking face when it comes to luminosity i think it's not that dewy but it just has that subtle touch of glow which looks really natural like the natural glow on your face it's not too um dewy or uh, it looks very unrealistic but i think i am liking the skin tint and it has a really nice soft texture as well which i like and the best thing that i love about the skin tint is that it has a nice crease free creaseless formula which is not going to crease my under eye like it's been like what 10 minutes that i've applied the skin tint but it's not creasing otherwise i get these fine lines under my eye and all the foundation or anything that's dewy or uh, luminous will just settle in which it's not and that's really surprising i mean i'm really happy with the fact that the shade p9 suits me so well i initially when i started swatching and you know, putting it on my face i really thought that uh you know that this wouldn't be the shade for me i'm seriously blown away with this skin tint it does exactly what it promises you it evens your tone it blurs all the imperfections and your redness on your face so if you're looking out for a skin tint that's just going to give you that look that you've just stepped out of a skincare commercial then the lisa alders skin tint is for you guys so if you enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i talk a lot about luxury makeup i also have a web blog so do not forget to subscribe to my channel so tune in to my web blog as well i post a lot about skincare luxury makeup and luxury skincare so if you guys enjoy watching such content and if you guys love reading about luxury makeup and luxury beauty in general and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to also subscribe to my blog as well and i will see you guys in another makeup video